In this video, I will be discussing what you can do to try and reduce the likelihood of developing macular degeneration or having macular degeneration progress. The most important thing if you're a smoker is to stop smoking. This is by far the greatest risk of developing macular degeneration and therefore stopping smoking is beneficial both to the eye as well as a whole list of other uh, medical conditions. With regard to diet, a healthy balanced diet is important with fresh fruit and dark green leaf vegetables. These foodstuffs contain antioxidant vitamins which mop up a particular nasty chemical called a free radical which is produced by light electromagnetic radiation striking the retina and in particular fat tissue such as cell membranes, lipid, uh, and it creates free radicals which then damage the DNA which is the genetic material inside the eye controlling cell function. So by mopping up free radicals you're less likely to get damage to the cells. Vitamin supplements however have also been used in patients with macular degeneration and these vitamin supplements result in uh, dosages of vitamins which are far higher than can be attained by having a diet alone. Any study looking at vitamin supplements uh, and medical conditions has to be a large number of patients looked at over a prolonged period of time. And there have been two useful studies from the United States that have produced uh, good statistical evidence as to the usefulness of vitamin supplements in macular degeneration. These are called the ARIDS-1 and ARIDS-2 study. And in the ARIDS-1 study, high dosage vitamin E, vitamin C, beta-carotene and the minerals zinc and copper were used uh, and it was noted that in patients with moderate uh, risk macular degeneration it reduced the likelihood of them progressing into the more high risk category. So in patients who have developed macular degeneration and have mild to moderate macular degeneration there is some uh, evidence to suggest vitamin supplements uh, may be beneficial. There is also a lot of discussion over lutein and zeaxanthin and omega-3 fatty acids seen in fish oils. And the ARIDS-2 study has recently uh, demonstrated that omega-3 fatty acids are of no benefit uh, to patients with macular degeneration in that particular study. And that lutein and zeaxanthin can usefully replace beta-carotene in the previous ARIDS-1 study because beta-carotene can sometimes be toxic and in particular in smokers, it can increase the risk of lung cancer. And it was shown in the ARIDS-2 study that lutein and zeaxanthin could be e uh, effectively replace uh, beta-carotene. 